Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple color masking effect in Shader Graph in URP. This shader is useful for things like player colors, customization of outfits, or just adding some color variety to characters. Here's a very quick overview of how this effect works. Starting with a sprite that only uses red, green and blue, separate these three channels, which then can be multiplied by a new color and then add it back together for a new color palette. I'm going to walk through the setup now, but you can find a link to the Shader Graph download as well as the code version for the Legacy Pipeline in the description. So I'm starting here in a new scene in Unity 2020.1 and uh, all I've done so far is import the images I'll be using as an example. And I've set them to sprite here. Uh, that's basically all I've done. I've just drawn them in Photoshop and dropped them in here. So to start making the shader, go to create, shader, and then 2D renderer, uh, sprite unlit graph experimental. Name this something like sprite color mask. And open it up. Okay, so let's start by adding the texture. Type in texture 2D uh, and we need an asset and a sampler. There we go. Now this one needs to be converted to a property. We name this reference. And the reference should be underscore main text. And because this is going on sprite renderers or UI elements, it doesn't need to be exposed. It'll be uh, added by the renderer. So connect this one to the sample texture and output this to color. Hit save. Just quickly setting up some sprites here. Now create a new material by selecting the shader graph and going to create material. And drag this onto all of the sprites we made. You won't see a difference because uh, it's only reading the texture. So back to shader graph. All we need to do is take each of the three color channels and multiply it with a new color. So let's do that. And then we turn all three of these colors into new properties so we can assign them in the inspector. So this one will be primary secondary color and tertiary color let's set their default values so we can actually see it Now instead of using the sprite as a color, we're going to combine these three and that will be our new color. Now add these three colors together. And multiply with the original sprite alpha. and connect it to color again. Save the graph. So now you can swap the color channels with anything you'd want. Mm. 
And that's it for this very simple color masking effect. If you want to see more tutorials, I have a website where all of them are listed and there are a lot of them by now. Uh, the link is in the description, so be sure to check it out.